LAPD has received a lot of criticism for their response to this protest. Police say they were giving people room to protest, but did that space lead to more problems? Now, Patrick Hayes was there as APD responded to the criticism and as they explained why they did not move in when protesters started to vandalize the statue. Albuquerque police say they started getting calls about the protests and militia hours before Stephen Baca shot a protester. We will not deploy resources for, for minor property damage issues. APD says they had special teams nearby and watched a live video of the protest but didn't go to the scene because they didn't want to make things worse. One of the things I want to say about the situation with the statute is I know the statute uh, has meaning but to me that statute is not worth the relations to the community for the years to come. And it, that statute had been spray painted and vandalized uh, the days previously. Uh, and I, I just, we were not ready to make a commitment to the statue itself being the tipping point where we would go into conflict with a crowd of peaceful protesters because of a few agitators. The president of the Albuquerque Police Officers Association says tearing down or defacing public property is illegal and there's a right way to have a statue removed. What you see in that video are individuals that have allowed and been allowed to escalate and turn a what started as a peaceful protest into a riot. The president of the police union says officers may get blamed for not showing up sooner, but it wasn't up to them. Police officers take orders. Orders from the management of the police department come from the administration. We asked APD whose orders were they following? The orders that were followed that day at the museum are the same set of standards that we've set from the very beginning, which we believe has helped us ensure that we're not catching innocent, peaceful protesters in the crossfire between agitators and police as we're trying to clear out scenes. Police have also been criticized for not starting their investigation sooner. But APD and the union say officers had to make sure that the area was safe before they started asking questions. That's why police say they had to use three canisters of smoke and seven less lethal projectiles to help them get things under control. The protests and shooting are now under investigation by the New Mexico State Police. Patrick Hayes, KOB4.